Well, the day is wearing on, and I'm pretty much ready to call it a day and head in for the evening. However, before I do that, there are some things that I ought to do so that I'm ready to get right back to work tomorrow morning. Now, we have previously looked at properly shutting down the shop for the evening, making sure all the gas is turned off, making sure the torch is turned off, all the fires are out. There's nothing that's going to cause a problem while you're not here overnight. But we haven't really talked about what to do to get ready for tomorrow. And why worry about that tonight? Why is that important as you leave the shop for today to be ready for the next day? I have found that a good day in the shop, being really productive, really efficient, starts the day before. It's the few things you do today that are going to make a difference tomorrow. Now, part of that is just putting your tools away and cleaning up when you're done with today's work so you don't have to deal with that mess when you come in tomorrow. Another part of that might be laying out your tools that you know you need for tomorrow's project. Now for me, tomorrow is going to be a miserable day. I'm not even sure if I'm going to make it up to the shop. The high temperature for tomorrow is going to be 20 degrees, and that should occur sometime in the wee hours of the morning before the sun comes up, and it's going to get colder and colder after that for the next 24 hours, and it will be below zero sometime tomorrow night. So I don't know if I'll actually get up here or not, but if I do, the one thing that's going to kill my ambition more than anything is the thought of going out to the stock rack digging through the snow. Oh, did I mention we're also supposed to get 12 inches of snow tomorrow? But digging through the snow or standing out in the cold trying to find the materials I need, then feeding them through the saw, which doesn't create any heat, doesn't warm me at all, grinding the ends to take the burrs off, get things ready. So if I cut my materials that I might use tomorrow and have some projects all ready to go. And in this case, they're going to be projects that require high heat from the forge. I'll do some forge welding. Now I'll have to warm the anvil up when I get into the shop to be able to forge weld successfully, but I can run the forge at its highest heat and it will help heat the shop, help make it much more comfortable in here, but only if that material is ready to go when I get in in the morning. I'm going to take time to cut my materials for tomorrow and I'm going to cut more than I need. I'll cut enough for two or three days for the work because the next day probably won't be any better anyways and I'm not going to want to spend any time tomorrow out here in the colder part of the shop. So my best way of guaranteeing success tomorrow is to be ready to come in, light the forge, and go to work. So that really is just a matter of cutting materials, taking the burrs off the end, or doing any other grinding I need, need to do, so that everything is stacked up by the forge where I can get right to work in the morning. I'm also going to make sure I've got some wood in here for the little wood stove, and that there's enough propane for the little propane heater. Any little thing you can do to make it quicker and easier to get right to work when you come into the shop in the morning really sets the tone for how your day is going to go. It makes the day go so much smoother and so much more efficient. If you come into the shop and you have to roam around trying to figure out, well, what am I going to work on today? Do I need to cut the materials? Where are those materials? Oh, it's cold out there. Oh, I don't, you know. It just really starts the day off poorly that way. But having everything ready so when you come into the shop, you light the heat, you light the wood stove, you light the forge, you put your materials in, you get to work, that makes for a good day in the shop. Something else you might want to do as you leave the shop is to make a list of things that you need to do before you come to the shop tomorrow. Do you need to make a sketch of what you're working on? Do you need to look up some specifics for it? Maybe you need to go online and find the heat treat data for a tool you're planning to make tomorrow. All of those things help make your next day in the shop go a lot better. In the long run, it just comes down to being prepared for the day before the day starts. And in doing so, you will find that your time in the shop goes much better, it's much more enjoyable, it's much more focused, and you're not just milling about the shop trying to figure out, why did I come here? Anyways, that's about all I've really got. I've got a few more pieces to cut out there on the saw, a little bit more firewood to bring in. Then I am going to call it a day and head on in. I hope you had time today to get out to your shop and make something. I hope you did it safe. Hope you were able to wear your safety glasses. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. But one way or the other, I will probably be here tomorrow, and we'll see you then.